East Brunswick's Mayor Cohen had the privilege of hosting Congresswoman Bonnie Watson Coleman in East Brunswick. Joined by state, county, and local representatives, they toured multiple sites that will be substantially improved with grant money the Congresswoman is instrumental in obtaining. In particular, a $1.6 million grant will be used to fund major reconstruction work to Dunham's Corner Road. I do want to, of course, thank uh, the Congresswoman who, of course, represents our district and was able to work with uh, the President, the Congress, to get us the money for the grant that we applied for. This is a grant to help repave a good portion of the concrete portion of Dunham's Corner Road. That's a road that at this side of the highway is shared between East Brunswick and South Brunswick. So it is something that is desperately needed and that is something that generally is a very difficult thing to do because as those of you who are in construction know, concrete roads are even more difficult to repair than most of the asphalt roads that you see. So it's extremely time intensive, very expensive, and that's one of the reasons it's been put off for such a long time. So it is a critical piece uh, of us getting East Brunswick to be, uh, and South Brunswick, to be able to utilize these roads in a way that's much more safe for the residents that live here. In addition, one of the other um, count, uh, federal grants that's coming to the township that we've been working on for several years now is a bike and walk path between Crystal Springs and this community arts center that would also allow people to get between most of our recreational and um, areas of the township without being subject to being on a main highway that's traveled uh, at upwards of 50 miles an hour. It's dangerous. So we want to be able to connect those areas so that people can enjoy these communities in a much safer way. And that's also federal money that the Congresswoman has been active in helping us get. And that all helps the residents of the townships that uh, all utilize this facility. So I want to thank her for all that work. I would like to uh, allow the, my uh, fellow mayor, uh, Mayor Charlie Carley from South Brunswick, to uh, offer a couple of words before we have uh, the Congresswoman address us all. So the stage is yours. Okay, thank you. Mayor Cohen, you're a gracious host. Thank you very much. Uh, I do have to thank Mayor Cohen for his vision for Dunham's Corner Road. Uh, to, to the mayor's point, uh, a million years ago, I used to be a land surveyor and Dunham's Corner Road was laid, the concrete during the Work Projects Administration, during the Franklin Roosevelt Administration. So it's old. Uh, and so it's uh, about time uh, it be repaved, replaced, and the amenities that you plan along the uh, route are uh, truly impressive. It is good to be an East Brunswick mayor. Uh, thank you for all the collaborations that we have enjoyed over the years, as well as you, Mayor. I am delighted that I am here with the elected officials from uh, these great communities. And I am delighted that more than one community will benefit from our community project effort. You know, we just started this process again, and this is a really vitally important process because when you elect people, you elect them because you want them to look after the interests of your communities and the needs of your constituents. And by being able to uh, direct funding to some of the projects that the elected officials and even some of the 501c3s um, consider to be priority, makes us feel like you know we're really having a tangible impact. Additionally, with the Congresswoman's assistance in this year's federal appropriation bill, East Brunswick has obtained a $750,000 grant opportunity for the East Brunswick Public Library's HVAC system that needs to be replaced. Hopefully it goes through because this really is a well-loved and well-used place. Earlier that afternoon, Congresswoman Bonnie Watson Coleman toured B'nai Shalom Synagogue. The synagogue, which is also home to the vibrant church, received federal funding assistance to bolster security on the premises. Upgrades were funded through the nonprofit security grant program. Entry, there is a gate that was put in that was used with the federal funding. A lot of places use lockdown, lockdown buttons, lockdown. 